Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Steven Plays. And many of you are probably saying, wait, what, what the heck is this? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Today, we're taking a look at the 1997 shooter, my first computer game, Outlaws. Before we get too far into this, let me say a quick shout out and a huge thank you to all of our Patreon producers. Their names are scrolling along the bottom of the screen now. Thank you so much. If you're watching and you'd like to learn more about Patreon and how you can support Mal and myself, there will be a card on screen now and also a link in the description box down below. For now, I'm going to stay quiet and let you enjoy this wonderful pre-rendered cutscene from 1997. We'll talk more right after. Gentlemen, I have seen the future. Where now there are struggling farms, I see a gleaming city rising from the parched plains. A city that has my name on it. Boys, we have ourselves a job to do. There's some as has a problem sharing my vision. They fail to see that selling their land to me will make this county the wealthiest in the state. Well, their time has finally come. You will enlighten them. Go out there and don't come back till I can look at this map and know that every inch of it is mine. Oh, snap. It is time for Outlaws. Okay, so as I said before, uh, this was my first computer game. And I have very, very fond memories of this game, and I'm going to be sharing them with you as I play through it. Um, you might be wondering, why Outlaws? Why now? And some of you, and I know some of you are out there saying, okay, but Assassin's Creed 3. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm here, Assassin's Creed 3 will be the next Let's Play. However, both Uncharted and Assassin's Creed are climbing simulators, and because we just finished Uncharted, I thought it might be a little more appropriate to break it up with a completely different genre. What better way, what better genre than a 1997 first-person shooter. Uh, this is uh, widely regarded as um, the first Wild West first-person shooter, and uh, it's it's pretty fantastic. Uh, it's definitely aged, but it's still uh, it's still a lot of fun. And uh, the big thing for me is that I never beat it. And uh, one of the reasons I want to bring this Let's Play to the channel is because I want to be able to finally have completed this game. So uh, we're going to start a new game today. And uh, I've only probably ever beaten about half of it because this game, uh, this game came out in 97. Um, I was eight years old and uh, I got through, you know, a good bit of it, but I could never actually get through the entire thing. So hopefully uh, throughout this Let's Play, I'll be able to do it. I'll also go ahead and tell you that there are nine levels, a.k.a. nine episodes. So it's not going to be a very long LP but uh, it means a lot to me, and hopefully you will enjoy it as well. There's three difficulty levels, uh, good, bad, and ugly. Uh, we're not going to be playing ugly because, to be fair, um, it's ugly. If you get shot like one time, you die, and this game is not very forgiving. Uh, to be honest, I'm actually worried about playing on bad, but I'm going to play on bad. Um, I did practice the first level a little bit, and after I kind of got back into the swing of things, I was like, okay, I think I can do this. I'm going to have to play carefully, but I can do this. All right, so let's start a new game, and uh, I'll stay quiet as we watch the opening cutscene. My bonnie lies over the sea. Well, you ain't heard a word I said. She got a voice on her, almost as pretty as yours, Anna. Shall I write a list for you? Nope. I got it in my head, ain't I? You better had. Two pound of flour, one ham salted, one pound of sugar, fruit if they got any. Calico, eight yards, and um, if there's any cash left, some of that, that flowery water. Rose water. Yeah, rose water. And I think that just about covers it. Marshall James Anderson buying perfume. This is history. This is marriage. Well, 
Dragon Marshal is still holding out. Now, what is it the Bard wrote? Cowards die many times before their deaths, but the valiant taste of death but once. Doctor. What? We're sent to buy their land, to persuade them, to enlighten, remember? Oh, I always enlighten. And then, I kill. Sarah, come away from the window, honey. Yes? Good afternoon, ma'am. Is the marshal in? He ain't a marshal no more, sir. Mr. Anderson, ma'am. Who is it wants to know? Well, we was wondering if your husband has given any more consideration to the offer that we made on this farm a couple of weeks back. You got your answer then, I believe. What is it the Bible says, Slim? I don't know, Doctor. Ah, yes. You don't never, never look a gift horse in the mouth. That's a pearl of wisdom, ignored at your peril. Well, we ain't selling. Lady, you would never forgive yourself if you let your husband pass on this unique once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Let me enlighten you as to the benefits of reconsidering. My husband's not here right now. <laughs> we know that. Must be ten years since you traded in your silver star for a plow, James. It was a sad day for the county when you retired, that's for sure. A man can get too ambitious. Hell, you kill a few men before a jury give you permission to, and they fire you. Ain't fair. No, sir. You ain't a farmer, James. Your father weren't a farmer, and you ain't either. My father didn't live long enough to find out what he could have been. Well, I reckon that's true, but... And every man's entitled to a fair trial, wouldn't you say? Right, but you never shot an innocent man. I never met an innocent man. That'll be four dollars, Marshal. You got any of that, uh, fancy rose water? Yes, sir. Direct in from Paris, France, sir. And might I add, Mrs. Anderson has excellent taste. Yeah, and she smells good, too. Stop it! Stop it, please! Run, Sarah! Run! Oh, don't cry, woman. Remember. <laughs> To weep is to make less the depth of grief. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, put me down! Put me down, or you're in trouble! Big trouble, mister! Trouble, eh? Ha, hear that, doctor? I'm in big trouble! Give my regards to your family, James. Thank you, I will. James, please. Where did they take her? Anna. James, I'm cold. Hold me. I'm holding you. I, I love you. Anna.
And so begins our adventure. Um, so if you didn't pick up on, on everything that's going down, they're trying to build a, a railroad. They wanted Marshal James or former, former Marshal James Anderson to sell his land. He wouldn't budge, so this uh, business tycoon decided to kill his wife and uh, kidnap his child. So now we're in the, the actual game, and as you may have noticed it is dated this is from 1997 this game is 20 years old but it has a lot of uh nostalgia with me and i, I have a lot of fond memories of it and uh, i'm going to be going through this game and also showing you uh you know everything that i know about it um little secrets and things like that so you start with uh your colt and you also have a henry rifle and uh, you can also be disarmed although i would not recommend it if you get close to someone and they shoot you, you're going to take a lot of health, uh, a lot of damage, and it's, it's not going to be pretty. So um, there's a lot of environments where you can get uh, killed very quickly. So left click is what shoots. can shoot that guy from far away. He got me there. But clearly, you know, this is not the, uh, the best weapon for the job. If I switch over to the rifle, I have a much easier time. Um, you have to hold down the reload button to put in every single bullet. You can walk around with WAST. You hold shift, you can run. You can see, obviously, the rifle works a lot better. You can crouch. Crouching will save your butt. Um, I would say uh, it's almost required. The other thing that you can do, which is extremely beneficial, is that you can uh, right-click, or at least I have it mapped that way. The, the default con controls for this game are bizarre. Um, but it was 97. If you uh, right-click, you'll see that you can do a fan shot. So instead of uh, normally shooting, which is a little slower, like that, if you right-click, you hit it with the back of your hand, and it allows you to um, almost machine gun style these bullets out of this gun. Um, and there's going to be occasions where that's necessary, <laughs> because the room is going to be full of enemies. Uh, the middle bar is your stamina, so if you start sprinting, uh, it goes down. Um, if it gets to the end, obviously, you can't sprint. You can't jump as high. You can jump in this game. Um, also, it turns into, like, a, a air meter if you go underwater. And yes, there are underwater sections. Uh, you probably figured out the bottom right is the health. There, um, there's canteens scattered around, and those will restore a little health. We're going to have to grab them because I've already taken some damage. Uh, once again, this is bad mode, um, which would be, I guess the equivalent of normal, but uh, 1997 game design is exactly what it sounds like, 1997 game design. So with that in mind, um, you know, we're going to have to be very careful in order to just survive. This game is at times extremely brutal, and, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to do my best. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy about this game is the music. Um, in fact, the uh, composer uh, won an award uh, for the music because it it so wonderfully emulates the Wild West sound of the classic Wild West movies. And I think one of the reasons I like this game so much is that um, I grew up watching a lot of westerns and stuff with my dad. And uh, I think I... I guess I'm just a fan of, of that style of media. And um, being able to, you know, play a game that, that made me feel like I was living those movies was really cool. So here is Oil. Um, there is a lantern, because you are going to be going into some dark spaces. And we'll be seeing that actually in this level. Um, I'm sure some people are wondering how much I remember of the game. 
Uh, I've played this first level a little bit to try and get used to the controls again. So I'm going to know this level pretty well. And I'm going to know the next level pretty well. Because that was the level included in the demo. And I'll, I'll talk about that more later. Um, but everything else is going to be real blurry. Shot the cow a little bit. The cow's fine. Someone else in here? I think we're good. I got my health back up, which is important. Um, just have to be careful. Every single... Every single room you enter into. Got him. No one else in here. Continuing to collect stuff. Um, you can't carry the canteens with you. Uh, so it's one of those things like... Oh, shoot. So if you start to take damage later, you just have to remember where the canteens are. Um, again, 20 years of game design. Uh, a lot will change. There's a guy up there. He's like right there. Don't be a fool, Marshal! And he's not showing himself, and that's... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna have to go up there myself then. Um, there's also a key system. So, for example, you need the iron key. So we have to actually find keys in order to progress. Got him. Oh, God. You're out, uh, I couldn't jump off that thing. I, uh, you may notice that I, I utilize the, uh, the fan attack a lot, and it's just because, in my opinion, you don't fire fast enough with the, uh, the normal attack. So you'll see me utilize that a lot. Um, also as a general rule, and this is kind of weird, but, um, as a general rule, the bigger an enemy is, the more difficult they are. So the big guys that are, uh, wearing the red plaid, if you get close to them, they'll freaking kill you. Um, like, you cannot get close to some of these enemies. And I thought there was a guy around the corner, but either I already killed him or he wandered away. This is a medical bag. Uh, you'll notice now we have a new slot down there and that's for items. And uh, the medical bag is actually um, a health restoration item that we can carry with us. Uh, as far as I know, it's the only one in the game. So now if we need to, we can press um, return to gain three hearts immediately. If we... Absolutely, I, the door won't even open. Oh, son of a gun. That means they're right there. Careful. As you can see, I don't worry too much about ammo. Woo! Once again, that's a bigger guy. Therefore, he is... Uh, he is powerful. Got six cartridges. Um... As far as I know, there is no other weapons in this level. Um, I think it's just... I think it's just these two when we get other weapons later on. Um, and actually, what you have available to you changes based on the difficulty. The item placement is different. Um, the uh, types of weapons that you get are different. For example, there's a spot in this level that's actually really cool. Um, that needs dynamite. Uh, and it's it's this cool little secret area that I can't show off because in this one, in bad, there is no dynamite. Dynamite only shows up in ugly. But once again, I... <laughs> just being honest with you guys, there's no way I could get through this game in ugly. I'm already scared that I've committed to playing the game in... Um, in bad. I killed the guy in here, right? Yeah, okay. Whew! So in order to get... Um, Son of a gun. In order to get to get through a level, guy's shooting at me. There is um, an outlaw, a boss, if you will, that has to be killed, and he's usually hiding pretty far into the level, and you've got to get certain keys and all this other stuff to get to him in the first place. Um, get out of here. So that's what our our ultimate goal is. Um, you saw in that that very first cutscene, the. Uh, the business tycoon or whatever was talking to all those guys. Those are the guys that we have to kill. So that's what we're ultimately after. I think I have to go in this building first? One of them needs a key, but one of them doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get the jump on these guys from the window. Almost always a good idea. And there's some guys in here that have huge weapons. That guy died. And I know it's hard to see. Trust me, it's, it's difficult for me too. And this game originally ran at uh, 480 or uh, 6, 640 by 480, and um, fortunately, GOG.com 
has uh, a new a new version of the game that's uh, that's kind of upscaled to 1080, which is nice. You can play it on modern systems and also in slightly better resolution. So I'm trying to get the jump on these guys by taking them out from the window. Um, walking in the front door in this game is almost always death. Um, even on this lower difficulty mode, like, you'll probably die. So I'm trying to see if I can take out these guys as best I can. And I think we're, I think we're good. So LucasArts made this game, and uh, because of that, there will occasionally be little Easter eggs related to some of the other games they worked on, like the Sam and Max series. Um, and if, if I know about any of the things, I'll try and point them out when we get there. Gotcha. Let's be very careful. That guy's still alive. Got him. The rifle's coming in handy after we've more or less used the, uh, the handgun for most of it. But uh, see how we're picking up shells, but we, we don't actually have a shotgun? That's annoying, um, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure they'll give us one in a later level. But there's a, there's a lot of secrets. It's very um, old school style FPS, you know, like uh, if you were to play Doom or something of that nature, where there's all these little secrets, and if you go up to walls and you, you hit the right button, then things happen. Um, and it's just kind of interesting because it's a Western. I, I guess, it, to me, that feels like a strange combination. Right, let's be very careful as we come around the corner here. Where are you? Got that guy. Kind of sneaking into the room here. Did I get one? Did I get the... Nope! Oh! Gotta reload! Yeah. Shoot! Woo! Okay. The room still may not be clear. As evidenced by uh, that encounter there. Otherwise, pretty good. Doing good in health. You, you basically have to be very careful in every single room you enter. Um, now, this looks like a treasure chest. But I have never been able to figure out a way to open them. I've looked online. I'm pretty sure it's decorative. Even though it looks like it should be a chest. Once again, in 97, I guess they weren't thinking that, oh wait, that looks like something that someone would want to open, but as far as I know, you cannot open it. So here's a uh, little secret panel here. Yeah, so that guy shot me. Is there a canteen in here somewhere? Restored some of the health. There's another one in the corner. There we go. Back up to presumably full health. Anything else in here? Secret panel. Turn on my lamp. And slowly crawl! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus. There's a big guy in there. Ah, oh, and he ran around the corner before I could kill him. It's not great. Got him. Another medical bag. Um, I'm pretty sure the way the game works, which is really unfortunate, but, uh, pretty sure the way the game works is you can't use just one medical bag. So... If I, um, if I pull this up now, if I show you my items, it now says times six. So I'm pretty sure I can't restore three and three. I'm pretty sure I can only restore six. Otherwise, I'm, I'm collecting keys, um, which is, you know, helpful. Just not to the point where I really uh, need them yet. There's also somewhere in this first level, I can't remember exactly where, where like one of the shelves actually opens up. It might be in the other house. We're doing pretty good right now. Um, I've tried to play it very carefully, and uh, I think it's paying off at the moment, so I'm happy about that. No guys around, things are going well, and uh, now that I have the iron key, I can get into the barn area where I was before. This is the other house. There's still plenty of guys in there, so I'm just going to run past that. They're shooting at me. Let's see, is this... Did I go in? I haven't gone in here yet. Careful. Got that one down. Got him. Some more ammo. Nothing around here. Oh, there's another secret area in here. Uh, that one's down. Careful. Gotcha. Alright, looking pretty good so far. 
Gotcha. Here is a secret area. And actually, you can toggle a map. And if you bring the map up, it'll actually tell you up in the top left corner how many secrets you found. There's four secrets, you found two. But again, some of them are not accessible on certain uh, difficulty levels. So we will not be able to get into what, what is, in my opinion, the coolest one um, in this one. And that actually has to do with this over here. If you open up this outhouse, you'll see that there's a crack, kind of, uh, kind of like the Zelda series. If you get a stick of dynamite and you blow this up, you go into this crazy long underwater trail that leads you outside of the, the map area, and you find like a spaceship where there's like an alien probing a cow or something. It's like the, the, the most wild stuff. But um, the team at LucasArts had a lot of fun with this. Um, I mean, these were the, this was the same team working on a lot of other fun titles, and they brought that same, kind of that same joy to this Wild West game as well. All right, so everyone in here is mostly dead. But sometimes, I don't think people can respawn, but they can wander around the map, so I'm always a little careful. Get out of here. No one back here. All right, so things are about to go down, as, uh, as you could probably suspect. Whoa, hi, friend. Let's turn it on our lamp. We're going underground. Being as careful as we can. There's a guy up there. That's the shotgun guy. Got him. Woo! He's nasty. If 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 he's hiding behind a door or something, you come around the door and he finds you before you find him. Uh, things are bad. Things are real. Things are real not good. Okay. Crap. Got him. Staying good on ammo, too. That's the other concern, is I don't want to run out of ammo. I know, I'm just, I'm basically snaking around the, the floor, but I'm trying to live. Careful. Looking pretty good right now. Got them down. Still doing pretty good. Okay. Woo! Clearing the rooms. <laughs> things are things are going okay right now. Um, careful, 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 careful. Got him. All right. Okay, good. Uh, this is an elixir. This fully restores your health, but it's not something you can take with you. Also, if you've only taken like one damage and you pick it up, it only restores one, and then the item is gone. So it's kind of those, one of those things you have to just remember that it's here and come back to it. Um, this is a sheriff star. It is brief inv in uh, invulnerability. So while we have invulnerability, I am going to um, basically shoot the crap out of these guys. Or maybe it's just increased defense, because I definitely still took da- Oh, shoot! Definitely still took damage there. I'm gonna try and keep that in mind. It is not invulnerability. I was like, yeah, it's invulnerability! And I, I was taking damage, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's not- Oh, shoot, shotgun guy. It's a little dangerous. Playing slightly reckless. Um, here's the reason that I'm, I'm trying to be so careful. If you die, you're dead. There are no checkpoints. You start over. And, uh, as you might imagine, that's, you know, that's a little rough to ask you to start the entire level over. Um, you're putting a lot of effort into uh, each and every level, uh, and you can save the game. Like you can do, you can do a manual save. But in my opinion, that kind of, from an entertainment standpoint, from your standpoint as a viewer, I, I feel like that ruins the flow of the video. So I will not be doing that, um, at least to the best of my ability. And that means that I have to play the level perfectly. I cannot die. Because if I die, I am dead, and I have to start over. That's why I'm playing a little carefully. Just so you know. Just so you're... ...well aware of what's happening. Also, it is possible, um, in case you're wondering, for the outlaws to shoot each other. Um, if they are in each other's fire path, uh, and one behind him shoots, he will damage and potentially kill his buddy. Um, that is... ...definitely something that can happen, and I've seen happen before. It's actually kind of funny. Okay, we're good. This needs the brass key. 
So if we were out and about and trying to get in, we wouldn't have been able to get in. So we kind of went the back way. So far, so good. Where is the secret thing? There's definitely... I'm thinking it's in this house somewhere. I'm not sure where it is exactly, though. Prob I mean, I don't really need anything. Look at all this ammo. This is ridiculous. I think that you can only hold 100 bullets in any particular weapon. Um, again, really old-style uh, game design principles. Where is it? Okay, I I'm clearly not going to be able to find it, so I'm just going to keep moving on. Um, at this point, we have to... Uh, I believe we have to go upstairs. Oh, there's also a chance that maybe it's on a particular difficulty level, so who knows? I'm going to go upstairs and then be very careful. Turn in the corners. A little on edge. Took care of that guy. 100 bullets! See ya, and you're dead! Anyone else in here? No, but we have another... Do we have nine now? Twelve! Oh, dear God. That's, mo that's even more health than I can even recover, I think. Gotcha. Doing good. Is anyone else in here? You can run, but you can't hide, pal. Okay. Woo! Doing good. There's the brass key, and the brass key gets us back out the front door, in case we wanted to leave. Um, but as far as I know, there's no reason to actually leave. This is the same... Okay, cool. This is the same place we were. We're getting real close to the outlaw at this point. Oh, shoot. There's another one. And plenty of ammo at this point, so I'm not really worried about saving it. Okay. Are we good? We're good. This is where, uh, this is where stuff's about to go down. This is the final room. Oh, here it is! Oh. And it's, it's, I have full ammo for it, don't I? Yeah, I think I have full ammo for it. Well, whatever. Maybe you can only hold 90 on this one, I'm not sure. Oh god, chuck and blast. So uh, once we kill this guy, we'll trigger the cutscene, and that will be the end of this level, and also the end of the episode. Just so you know, because we're going to have pretty abrupt endings on these videos. Jesus. This strategy seems to be working, though. Good God. Please! Don't shoot no more. They took her north. Said something about picking up the train at Willington. Then heading on to Cortez. Said you'd never find them there. Just don't shoot me. How do I know you're telling the truth? Because I don't want to die. Damn it. I told that fool doctor stealing your kid weren't gonna be good for anyone's health. It's a shame he didn't listen.